YouTube people. Thank you so much for watching Jasmine T TV. I am Jasmine T. So whenever I upload a video, nine times out of 10, someone asks about my hair. You want to know what kind of products I use on my hair. Let me be the first to tell you really quickly though. I am not a talented hair guru. I'm not going to be uploading tutorials on this channel or anything like that. Not in the near future because I'm not going to have y'all mad at me for telling y'all something wrong. Just wanted to get that out the way, okay? But I do want to share with you guys products that I have used in Korea because a lot of you guys have asked. First off, let me say, I just want to give you a bit of background. I have been natural for seven years. The majority of that time, I've had a stylist. I had the same stylist for three years. The shop that I went to was Therapy by Aikila. Um, she is freaking amazing. She specializes in natural hair. If you are in the Charlotte area or even outside of the Charlotte area, she is definitely worth a trip. Also, back home, I always wore my hair straight for multiple reasons. It was easier to maintain for me. I really didn't understand my curl pattern. And when it came time for me to detangle with the comb, I, I could do some damage. And I just like the way it looks. So I don't always wear it like bone straight. And for example, here's a picture. I don't know what I had going on that day, but I showed up. I don't know if I showed up like this or if this happened during the process, but anywho, she took me from who did it and why to laid and slayed. So this is how I wore my hair the majority of the time. But coming to Korea, I have been forced to now take care of my hair myself and <laughs> still been a struggle, okay? Um, I will say the number one thing that I was concerned about coming to Korea is the quality of water. So you may know that Korea's water is considered harsh or hard, especially compared back to the US. Um, I'm not really sure what's in it, if it's a mix of things that's in it, or if it's just an increase in calcium, I don't know, okay? I just know I have a shower filter and a few other people I know have a shower filter just at this, just at this school alone. Um, I have the Sonaki vitamin C filter. Margaret has a different type of filter with like three filters in one. Um, I will definitely put links to those filters below if you would like to check if you would like to check them out. Um, some people have gotten the filters after they've experienced hair loss and hair thinning. I went on I went on ahead and just got the filter because I didn't want to experience any of that. And to be honest, I still think that my hair sheds here, but I don't know if it's like really, really shedding or if I'm just paranoid. I might be paranoid, but I do think it sheds a good bit. That's just something to think about um, is getting a shower filter when you come here. As far as products go, I would definitely recommend stocking up on your products, stocking up on your shampoo, your conditioners, your leave-in conditioners, your favorite oils, your favorite spray, all that. You need to go ahead and pack that. You can order stuff, but it's going to be much, much more expensive. Like things that are one price back home are probably two or three times that amount. It's kind of crazy. So yeah, I would definitely recommend stocking up on that stuff. I didn't do that. I brought some stuff, but not enough. And when I was running low, I went out to the store here in Daegu and thought that I could just pick some stuff up, but I was telling myself lies. So I ended up, I saw this, it says Morocco argan oil repairing conditioner let me make sure morocco argan oil repairing yeah so it looks all natural and good and stuff no okay this was not for me uh, at all my hair did not feel great after using this and the shampoo um i got the matching shampoo to it but what i did bring my mother did send me a care package recently so i do have the shampoo that my hairstylist uses um, hopefully she won't get mad that I'm showing off her secrets. Um, but yeah, so yeah, this is the Nairobi. Um, so yeah, I use Nairobi on my hair. And like I said, whenever I went to her, I would get my hair straightened, but I'm still continuing to use, even for like natural curly styles, I'm just continuing to use the same shampoo and conditioner that my hair knows. Um, okay, what else do I have? When it comes to detangling, this Deca Plus Satin Tame. It's pretty good. And by the way, if you're one of those people who are like, you need your shampoo and conditioners to not have any chemicals, it needs to be 100% organic, all that other stuff, these probably ain't it. <laughs> okay, these probably got all sorts of stuff in it. But, but these have been used on my hair for at least three years now. So I'll continue to use that. Um, as I... Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
Okay, as I'm trying to learn how to moisturize my hair. By the way, if I were you, I would do a porosity test, all right? I thought I saw, some, I thought I saw a bug. <laughs> I highly recommend doing a porosity test. Uh, I am low porosity. There's low porosity, normal porosity, and high porosity. And that porosity is basically how well your hair absorbs moisture. So I'm low porosity, so I got these oils. Apricot oil and grapeseed oil, 100% grapeseed oil from Now Solutions. Um, I use these because they are the lighter oils. They're much lighter than coconut or olive oil. Um, those oil, the heavier oils are too heavy for my hair and it just sits on top and it won't basically, my hair won't soak it up. So um, if you would like, if you want to try anything, I'll definitely see what porosity your hair is first. And then I got a leave-in conditioner. I didn't have one when I came here. And I just got this off of iHerb, Art Naturals Argan Oil Leave-In Conditioner. This one, it, it works, it's not that great. I'll probably use the rest of this and probably not order it again. Um, but my favorite thing has to be whole flax seeds so basically you take whole flax seeds and some water and you can make them make it into a gel the recipe is on the jasmine ttv hair tips page um these are i can't take credit for making this gel i actually got it from natural 85's flaxseed gel video and the link is the link to her video is in the jasmine ttv hair tips page which you can find on the jasmine ttv facebook page so make sure you join those um all of these products or anything that i try and would recommend um or even if i wouldn't recommend it i'll let you know that it didn't work for me i will post those on the page okay and i've actually that page is up and running and i've already posted the flaxseed and i posted the porosity test that you can take okay so yeah, that's pretty much it. That's my product stash. I will definitely add to the page if I find anything else. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. By the way, the live session on Saturday does not have a specific start time this week. I always say we start at 11 a.m. But this Saturday, I'm going hiking with Margaret and I want you guys to be able to see the scenery. Neither one of us knows how long it will take for us to get to the trails. So please turn on your notifications so that you will be notified when the live starts. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching. Please do not forget to like, share, or subscribe, and I will see you guys sometime on Saturday. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye.